Welcome back to Guns Up, guys. My name is Baron. So, what are we gonna do today? The same thing we try to do every day, Pinky. Take over the world. So, I think my base might need to be upgraded and revamped. Uh, it's kind of a style that we've had for quite a while, but if you guys have any tips on how to do that, let me know. My base power is 4,000. Not bad. It's over 4,000. Just barely over 4,000. Alright, so let's go off to war. And you know what? I think it's time to do some alliance battles. So we don't have any veterans possible. I think with regard to this, one of the things I like to do is have a lot of munitions. I like to have at least... Ooh, we're, we're down to one focus fire. A rally flag. And then I like tear gas because I think it's pretty good. Now, the thing about alliance battles is we don't know the base power of this base that we're about to fight until we're already in the battle. So that's a little bit tricky. But you know what? We're gonna go out here, we're gonna give it 110%. We're gonna we're gonna hope we play good. A lot of explosive barrels near some barbed wire choke point. The north is blocked. Okay, and I know if it's blocked off here. Let's just go send out a uh oh wow. He's got TVs for heads. Look at this. This is very tricky. Oh my. Oh my. Do we have one of these? We do. They've got bombardiers right here. Alright, so we're gonna let these guys go in. And you know what? I want everybody to destroy themselves here. Let's let's I'm hoping these two guys get hit. The bombardiers are kind of on fire, kind of not. I don't know if that was the right time to do that, because I don't think it did much damage. So I'm actually going to let... We we got rid of the explosive barrels, and they actually got rid of this string of barbar. Bar. This one is actually still in play. We've got another decoy as well. All right. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna send out some men to take out these guys. We're kind of a little behind the eight ball right here. We haven't fought like really, really good bases in what seems like a while. And I haven't played this game in a while. Here we go. I'm rallying up everybody over here. I want them to shoot through this wall here. These, oh, that pillbox just opened up. There we go, pillbox is taken out. He's got flamethrowers. How are we doing? Take out the flamethrowers, take out the Rambos. We kind of using this choke point against them, actually. Which is pretty awesome. How is the money doing right now? Let's get another Bombardier and another SWAT guy up here. Alright, so we got through what seems like the hardest part. That was the most narrow choke point. Do we want to... Here we go. Let's get our boys all back together. And let's get a surgeon out there as well. We got Rambos coming. I called in a B-52 strike over there. See how... I'm hoping to get decent amounts of these guys. Got a decent amount of them. That's exactly what we wanted! Alright, so we're dealing with the Rambos. We're calling in these big boys here. So this is gonna have to be a very successful push. I'm gonna save up for another one of these riot soldiers. We do have a surgeon on the battlefield. We're getting a ton of veterans, so this might actually... If we pull this victory off, we'll actually achieve two goals. All right, let's get another one. Come on, boys. Knock them out. Stun them with the grenades. Do your things. Do your things. All right, yeah, this this seems pretty easy to do, in my opinion. Oh, my God, this is absolute chaos. All right, we've got a napalm strike. I'm going to use it here, hit these guys behind it, burn them up as well as burn up the sniper tower. Let's silence all that. That's just too much. That's just too much stuff. All right, everybody back for a second. I didn't want to lose all of these guys. We've got some very powerful bombardiers up. All right, so now I'm pretty much at the low end of my money. What is this, a, a medic? Medic and two Rambos. There we go. The bombardiers are starting to stack up their attacks. This allowed them to get more guys behind these sandbags, but I'm not too worried about it. We do have the rally flag. I don't need to use it. This is this is game, set, and match at this point. I'll call another one. Oh, they've got RPG guys in the towers. Dang it. Oh, I thought we were going to lose a valuable member of 
our army here. So I'm calling in these guys to continue support, and actually I'm going to launch this missile on them. I want this thing down. Well, I don't even need to use it. It's already down. So how many veterans did we get out of that? That was pretty good. I wouldn't say that was a super difficult base. We actually got five veterans. We probably had some more of these at one point, but they were mostly eh, taken out. All right, so let's see. We got 500 munitions and 500 munitions. Not bad, not good. All right, but basically when you take part in alliance battles, um, you know, it you get more benefit. There's definitely a bigger payout. All right, so now we actually have some uh, veterans down here. So let's go to war. And I can do, what, four daily battles and they refill daily at 3 a.m.? I wonder, is that Eastern Standard Time or Pacific Time or British Time? I don't know. Azerbaijani Time? All right, so let's do another one. Ooh, actually, we've got to go to the... Uh, depot here and get some attack card packs we've got tons of munitions what I love about the attack card packs see we need focus fire so this is good and actually that seems like a decent amount it'd be cool if you could buy like 10 in a row like a book you know you buy a book that counts as 10 did we get any we didn't get any I feel like for the better bases rally flags and focus fires are pretty good we're not getting out of the three, we've only gotten one focus fire. Sometimes you'll get two in a batch. Wow. That's not good. That is not good. It must be a rare card because of how important it is on the battlefield. Come on! Really? You want my... This is what? Number six? Card pack number six? There it is. There's the second focus fire. That's what we wanted to see. All right. So let's go back to the war. Let's go over here. Actually, that, that's not where I wanted to go. I wanted to go to Alliance Battle. So once again, we're going in blind. We've got the 2,000 munitions. I'm going to go ahead and get one rally flag. And you know what? I'm... I just have a... I'm thinking this one's going to be tough. So do I want these? Or tear gas? Your units go berserk. Boost their movement, health, and strike fear in the enemy as they get up close and personal. Hmm... Unit damage increases damage by 10%, fire rate by that. Or we could upgrade the number of units on the battlefield, which would be pretty cool as well. Unit health. Let's let's up their health. I rarely use that one. All right, move out. All right, so what are we going to have to face here? Nobody knows until we get in there. All right, so it is cross-platform PC versus PS4. You love to see it. I just I almost wonder like this game itself would be probably too complex. I'll send out a wave of riflemen first. It wouldn't be, like, you couldn't easily port this over to mobile, I don't think, because, like, look at the level of detail in this. It's incredible. All right, let's get one riot and one stun. We'll send out a decent wave. So we've got a machine gunner and a grenadier. This base, these are wooden walls. Unless this base is just super long, I'm not... I'm gonna missile those guys. Yeah, I think this is a very easy base. Oh, we actually got a missile right back. I'm not seeing... Oh my gosh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's... That's interesting. Take out the mortar first, because that's the one I actually have to worry about the most, I think. He's got engineers. The snipers are the most... Alright, boys, come on. I, that, that was surprisingly easy. I was not expecting this base, so we actually wasted 2,000 munitions on it. We're at 18 out of 32, but I'm gonna let them just... I'm just gonna let them finish it off. Every rifleman, pretty much, is becoming a veteran right now. It's... Oh, wait, do we get... Uh, I think maybe one of our riot soldiers got veterancy. No, unfortunately not. So I can manage my veterans after the menu finishes up here. All right, a valor of plus one, not bad. Yeah, look at that. 
Oh my gosh. It'd be cool if there was like another mini game that you could send veterans onto, like, and they just had a percentage base, uh, percentage chance of, you know, becoming back with some award or something. It'd be, it'd give a little more personality and kind of more decision making as far as like what you want to do. All right. So should we go for the one more? Let's do one more alliance battle. And I'm, I'm, you never know. Sometimes you get lucky like that time. But I'm going in. I'm gonna use the focus fire. I'm gonna use the rally flag. And then that 10%, what's tactical boots? Run right through barbed wire? That could be really good. We don't know what the base is gonna be like just yet, but if it's a really, really powerful base and they're using barbed wire, that can come into play. It's just very hit or miss right now and very just going in blind. We went in blind, mate. All right, do we have lots of barbed wire? I'm seeing, well, there's some barbed wire right there. Oh, this, this looks like I can break in right over here. Oh, did I just get doubled up here? I got lucky. That was the one chance, so I, if I would have summoned this guy, we actually would have been 33 out of 32 units. Alright, um... We'll call in a big B-52 carpet bombing here. We've got some mercenaries. Oh, that was actually pretty well timed. Now, where did I want to take this out? This actually looks very convoluted. It's very interesting. If I rally up here... And then I open that up... I'm gonna let this wave get wiped out. Oh, wait. Those were two very valuable bombardiers there. Okay. Now we're gonna send in the full squads. The big boys. The truck just stopped. All right, let's get one of these. All right, so I, I put them up here. We're gonna use the focus fire. We're gonna destroy these. Use a decoy at the right time here. Call it a missile. Oh, we're through, aren't we? We're sneaking up behind this now. Oh yeah, and that's it, that's it, isn't it? All right, I think at this point we're pretty good. Let's go ahead and just rally up here. Get everybody. Do some carpet bombs back there. Oh, we got another focus fire. That's always good. I'm trying to get these guys right here. Hey! Take a seat, boys! All right, so we got the mercenaries out here. Let's get another surgeon out there just to keep people alive. Oh, we got a Rambo coming. All right. But luckily, see, look at these. I love these riot soldiers with their big shields. They can block so much of the incoming shots. Little machine gun, little rifle fire, rather. Staccato with a rifle fire. Did we get... Ooh, we got an assault soldier. Or a ranger, rather, with two veterancy. He must have been there since the beginning, wiping people out. Oh, yeah, this is good. Manage veterans. We actually got two of them. So, let's see. I don't want any... I don't want any riflemen. We want all the good guys. So look at that. We were out of veterans. Boom. Immediately farmed and achieved veterans. Having veterans is key for both attack and defense. And now we went from zero to a full complement of eight. We still have what looks like one rifleman that we'd want to replace. So it's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. And we definitely have to upgrade our base moving forward. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching another episode of Guns Up. Let me know if you want to see more, and if there's other games that are similar to this, or kind of like this, that you think we should check out. Let me know, and I'll see you guys in the next one.